Hi, my name is Zara. I'm immigration consultant from San Diego, California. I am not a lawyer and I do not give any legal advice and you should consult with your own lawyer. However, as an immigration consultant or immigration forms specialist, I can help you to prepare your immigration forms, assemble your case and send them to the USCIS. I am bonded and registered with the California Secretary of State and I'll be happy to help. If you are watching this video, it means that you probably have a girlfriend or boyfriend abroad and you would like to bring them to the United States and get married and looking for some information how to do that. Probably you also heard about K-1 visa. So here I am to share this information based on the USCIS website. So let's start. First, I would like you to keep in mind that this process contains several steps. And I would like you to talk about the steps more precisely in the next of my couple videos. So let's jump in. What's the first step? First step petition for your fiance. If you are a US citizen who wants to bring your fiance from abroad to US in order to get married, you will need to file a petition for him or her. This is the first step to obtaining K-1 visa. Step 2. Visa application. In this stage, you will be working with the Department of State and National Visa Center. Step 3. Inspection at the port of entry. In this stage, either Customs and Border Patrol will admit or does not admit your fiancé to the U.S. Step 4. Marriage. After entering the country using K-1 visa, you should get married within 90 days. Step 5. Adjustment of status or applying for a green card. Let's start with the step 1. Our first question would be, who is eligible for K-1 visa? You may be eligible to bring your fiancé to the U.S. on fiancé visa if you meet the following requirements. First, you are a U.S. citizen. Green card holders are not eligible for this visa. You and your fiancé intend to marry one another within 90 days of her entry to the United States using K-1 visa. Number three, you and your fiancé are both legally free to marry. This means that your marriage is ended, terminated, and you have divorce degrees and certificates. Number four, you and your fiancé met each other in person at least once within the two-year period before you file your petition. You may request a waiver of this in-person meeting requirement if you can show that meeting in person would violate strict and long-established customs of your fiancé culture or social practice or result in extreme hardship to you, the U.S. citizen petitioner. So I hope this part is clear. Let's talk about the step number one, and this is what USCIS says. Number one, you file petition for your fiancé according to the form instructions. This form asks USCIS to recognize the relationship between you and your fiancé. Number two, then USCIS reviews your form and the documents you submitted. They may mail you request for evidence if they need additional documentation or information. Number three, if you establish your eligibility, they will approve your petition and recognize the claimed fiancé relationship. Otherwise, they will deny your case. Number four, then they will send the approved petition to the National Visa Center and Department of State. Probably your next question is how long this first step going to take? From four to ten months. In order to successfully fill out this petition and get your approval, you should know the process very well. Read instructions carefully before filing the forms. Provide all the information they want to see, and hopefully you will be able to get your approval soon. Also, you can hire professionals to do this for you. 
you can hire immigration lawyer, you can hire immigration form specialist, and it will be stress-free or less stress process. I am one of those specialists who can help you as well. And please let me know when you will be ready to bring your fiance to US. We'll be more than happy to help. Thank you for your attention and I wish you all the best. Bye.